Hello, this is Michelle Knight. This is the astrological update for Cancer for two weeks from the 26th of December until January the 8th. Now, you're feeling intensely passionate about your family and your home and you're one of the most committed signs, if not the most committed signs when it comes to home and family. A little bit of a tussle with Jupiter and Uranus makes you feel that maybe you want to change some things. And out of the blue, you might feel that you want to change your career in some way or do something that pushes you forward to become more independent. Fair enough, but make sure that that's coming from within you and it's not just a passing fancy and you impulsively do something which could have far reaching consequences. Generally, for the next year, your well-being and your abundance and your sense of happiness comes from your home and family. So it's very important that you have balance there over the next year. Also, we have Mercury, the planet of communication, sextiling Neptune. And there could be discussions with a lover or a potential new lover about having an adventure, doing something different and doing something unusual. Bear in mind, though, that Mercury, the planet of communication, is going retrograde, is going backwards. So don't necessarily finalise any plans until after the 9th UK time. We also have a great opportunity for you as we have a new moon in your position of relationships and it brings about a brand new cycle for the next year to do with your relationships but it also means letting go changing and transforming and that could sometimes be difficult for you because security is very important to you and even if you have to make changes you're reluctant to do it sometimes right now the new moon is saying shed 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 and fly and allow yourself to step into the next vibration of relationships there could be someone new coming in you're transforming things and things may never be the same again. On top of that, Venus, the planet of love, is backing up this energy by going into your position of adventure, the unusual, the eccentric, the free. And um, you're opening up to trying new things when it comes to your relationships, to traveling, to learning and to growing in all sorts of new ways. The Sun and Pluto are also conjunct on the 7th. There's a massive change coming to how you perceive relationships. Pluto doesn't take any prisoners. It's all about transformation. You are ready to transform when it comes to love. You're ready to transform for the year. But because Jupiter's in your position of home and family, don't panic too much because that should be something that's very secure for you as long as you pay attention to what Jupiter always needs, which is all about expansion. Take care, have a fabulous New Year's Eve and New Year, and I'll speak to you soon. I'd love to say a really big thank you to everybody that voted for me in the Soul and Spirit Awards. I was blown away by the response and I'm really humbled and touched to tell you that I won Best Love Psychic, Best Love Astrologer, and Best Spiritual Website. So thank you so much. As you may know, it's not easy to get a reading with me. I do them very sporadically, but I have a fantastic team of psychics who are brilliant. Here's a little one minute, because I know you've, some of you've complained about it being too long, one minute video about them. I like to class a reading as an oasis for the soul. I like to think that it's a very individual a feeling. I think in my readings people feel a sense of a safe space where they can really be themselves. Time out where we can really spoil ourselves. But they're still quite shocked when you give them very accurate information. When I get validations, it's amazing. I feel integrity is a huge part of it for me because without that, I wouldn't be doing this work. It's about guidance. It's about hope. It's helping people have clarity, I think. I love that light bulb moment. When I finish work, I come off the phone and it's like, yeah, I've made a little bit of a difference. It's heartfelt to hear when I read for a client. I love making a difference to people's lives.